here we're working with this idea of oligopolies. And part A here, we just want you to define what the goal is of oligopolist buyers. And we're doing this with the understanding that oligopolist sellers want to increase the price of their goods they sell so that they can earn the highest profit. So if we look at that inversely on the hand of these oligopolist buyers, we can assume that they want to purchase for the lowest price possible. So they're going to negotiate those prices down as much as they can. Now part B here, we're working with the Major League Baseball team owners. And what we know is that they have this oligopoly within the market for baseball players, right? They own these teams and they offer salaries to these players so that they can try to attract the best baseball players possible onto their team. So what is their goal here in terms of these player salaries and why is it difficult to achieve? Well, assuming here that these MLB team owners are oligopolist buyers, and as we just said in part A, that the goal of oligopolist buyers is to get the lowest price possible, we can come to the conclusion that this goal of these MLB team owners is to pay the lowest salary possible. And this is very difficult to achieve. And the reason that's so is because these good baseball players, because they're good, they're able to demand a much higher salary, meaning that these team owners are forced to pay higher salaries if they want to actually attract those players. So this demand by, let's say, good players is so high that it's very difficult to actually offer these low salaries to attract them. And part C here, we're discussing this idea of a salary cap this agreement amongst these oligopolist buyers, these owners of the baseball teams, they tried to set this salary cap on what they could pay for their baseball players. And we'd like to know why exactly did they do that? Well, they wanted to do that so that they could avoid this idea of cheating amongst these players. So Without that salary cap, any player on a team could choose to break that agreement if they wanted to, to go play for another team if they receive some higher salary offer. However, that is considered cheating within their term arrangements. And so if these buyers instead came up with this idea of a salary cap, it would mean that nobody could attract a player from another team resulting in cheating. So it would prevent that chance of cheating by initiating this salary cap. So we'd see this prevention of cheating. And as a result, it would really formalize the sort of collusion amongst these buyers on salaries. And the players would probably be worse off because they wouldn't be earning it quite their salaries quite as high as they were. However, the buyers would have to pay less. And as a result, they were working towards achieving this main goal of obtaining the lowest price possible.